in any career, the an athlete needs to make that decision of what are what are my boundaries, ethical boundaries. What are who am I in recognizing that um, you are yourself first before you are your name or whatever championship you've won and really helping people stay individuals through their successes. I think if you came into an NHL hockey room and seen most of the guys' bodies, you wouldn't think anyone's really taking performance-enhancing drugs. All us players who play it, we, we enjoy playing it, and we all do want to win, but it is just a game in the end. What we don't allow is riding wake, so I don't know if you know what that means, but if one boat has a wake, you can ride the wake and then take off and pass the other boat because you're it, the other the other boat is actually dragging dragging you with them so as an official you need to follow behind in in a, in a speedboat and you're watching to make sure that that they aren't doing that but it's all a judgment call and and so if you call a, a steer on doing that you really need to know what you're talking about I think that it's a really good thing actually to um, shake hands before you uh, start and shake hands after a game. It, um, I don't know, it's just something that is a respectful thing. As an official, you have to be objective. Um, you, you can't let emotions dictate how you're going to call a game. You need to know the black and right white of the, of the rules and apply them in, in what would be considered a kind of a flu the fluidity of the game. Um, and one of the things, one of the hardest aspects for any referee to, to gain experience in is not to get emotionally charged during the game. It's two teams that, that are playing and you just have to really concentrate on what you're doing and if you have enough to do, and in, in public address announcing in football you really have enough to do because there's a play happening all the time and somebody's got the ball and somebody's tackling them and you're watching what's happening and you haven't got a lot of time to think about anything else but what's going on on the field. So that, so that's kind of a way of separating things is to, you know, concentrate on the play. That's been one of the things that I've always believed in is, uh, as kind of a rule is that the most important thing, two most important things are the game itself and the players and, and, and what's happening on the field or the court or whatever. To me, all, all the time, the most important thing is uh, the game on the field and trying to be fair and be accurate.